Network Forensic Investigation Challenge 1. You have been given an evidence packer file from a monitored, monitored network activity of Andy Kova. It is believed that Andy Kova has communicated with her secret lover. You are a forensic investigator. Your mission is to figure out what an email which went and recover evidence including Anne's email address, Anne's email password, Anne's secret lover's email address, two items, Anne told her secret lover to ring, the name of the attachment Anne sent to her secret lover, the MD5 song of the attachment Anne sent to her secret lover, the city and country of the rendezvous point, and the MD5 sum of the image embedded in the document. Hello and welcome, my name is Faisal from Phoenix Academy. Alright, alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is to download the uh, FACAP file for this particular Network Forensic Investigation Challenge 1. So just go to uh, Phoenix Academy under Block and then you are going to see the, uh, the particular first. Network Forensic Investigation Challenge 1 FACAP file. Oh, uh, I will also leave the link to download this backup file under this video. Alright, so uh, I have already downloaded this video. So I have it in my downloads. Uh, CD. All right, I'm already under the downloads directory. All right, I already have this uh, backup file. So I am going to open my Wireshark packet analyzer. So I'll just, uh, I can launch it from the command prompt by uh, typing Wireshark, all right? And then uh, uh, the uh, ampersand, it just, uh, I'm telling the terminal that I still want to use the terminal. Uh, for, I still want to make use of the terminal for other attacks. So, you shouldn't just use it to launch the Wireshark, all right? So, oh, I've launched the, wire, uh, the Wireshark will now open. Will now launch. All right, so the Wireshark has now launched. Now, I'm going to open the uh, the backup file. I already have the link here because I have, already, I have worked with it before previously. So, uh, if you just if you are just starting, you just come here, open, and then you navigate to the directory where you downloaded the Wireshark. Uh, where you downloaded the uh, FACA file rather and then you uh, select it and then you click open and then and then it's going to open the FACA file for you all right so it has opened the FACA file and case evidence FACA file so now we are going to begin our investigation all right so uh, these are all the uh, packets that have been transmitted by Andy Kova so we want to our first task is to find a Anne's email address, all right? So our first task is to find Anne's email address, all right? So uh, we know that our email address uses a SMTP protocol, simple mail transfer protocol. So uh, and Wireshark enable us to filter packets by the protocols they use. We can see the protocol, ARP, NTP, syslog, ARP, and, and, many, lots, and many other protocols, all right? So, um, can use uh, this filter, Wireshark filter, SMTP to filter all the packets so that I'm only going to have SMTP packet here, all right? So I can just here, come here and enter the name of the protocol, SMTP, and then I can uh, click on this arrow, and then it will filter the protocol, the packet by the SMTP protocol. So all these, all the protocols I can see here, they are SMTP protocols. So. I can begin my investigation. I can just uh, look through the packet and then try to find Anne's Decoba email address. All right. So uh, let me go back with the first packet, packet number 56. All right. I will right click on it and then I'll come follow TCP stream. And then I can be able to uh, look at it, look at the content of this particular packet and then try to see whether I can discover, uh, recover Anne's Decoba email address. Okay. So I can see a message here that has been transmitted from Andy Koba, I can see Andy Koba email address. So I have found Andy Koba email address, all right? It is sneakyg33 at kol.com. All right, so let me copy it. Okay. So, uh, let me launch my editor. So we have recover the first evidence, Anne's email address. So Anne's uh, email address, which is our first task. Okay. 
All right. So our next task is to find Anne's email password. All right. So we have found Anne's email address. Uh, task number two is to find Anne's email password. All right. Anne's email password. All right. So I'll go back to my Wireshark. Uh, I'll go back to my Wireshark application. Come, uh, come back to Wireshark here. Now I have done with this. I can close it. Uh, all right. Come to the Wireshark. I uh, will still go back and filter by uh, SMTP. Uh, SMTP protocol. Filter the uh, packet by the this SMTP protocol. And then try to see how I'm going to find the ANS ML password. Okay, so uh, this particular packet is of interest to me. Packet number 60 is authorized login. Okay, and then this packet number 68. All right, so uh, let me go with this packet number uh, 68. It seems that this kind of authentication has taken place in that packet number 68. So perhaps ANS has entered her uh, email address and password and has, uh, and has, uh, has authenticated with the uh, SMTP server, all right. So I will just here click on it, follow TCP stream, and then I will be able to see whether I can get uh, Anz Decoba email password. Okay, so I can see that yes, this packet this packet was transmitted by Anz Decoba from Anz Decoba, and this is her email address. Okay, and then uh, a kind of uh, authentication has taken place, authorized login, and then I can see this thing. But this is uh, encoded in 64 bit, all right? 64 bit. So I have to decode it. It, uh, it is, uh, sorry, please, it is uh, encoded in base 64 encoding. Uh, base 64 encoding, base 64 encoding, all right? So I have to go to a particular website and then try to decode it. And then I will be able to see the content. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go to my web browser here. Uh, go to come to my web browser here, and then I'll. Uh, uh, okay, there's a website, Motobit. Motobit, uh, uh, a particular website that uh, perform basis base sixty four encoding and decoding. It's called base sixty four online base sixty four decoder and encoder. This is the URL link www.motobit.com. All right, so I am coming here and then I will enter that uh, particular encoding as a basis to for encoding and then try to see how I'm going to de uh, uh, decode it. All right, so uh, come here. I have this. Uh, all right, so authorize the login and then okay, this is in basis to for encoding. So I'll just copy it. All right, copy it, copy, and then come here and then I'll paste it here. All right, first. All right, then. All right, let me uh, make sure that I'm okay. I'm not encoding. I'm going to decode. Okay, and then out, uh, I want it to display the output on the text box. All right, so convert. Okay, so uh, that particular basis for encoding is for username. All right, so yes, indeed. So some kind of authentication has taken place. So, okay. So uh, this is a username, and then I'm sure this is the username, and then the next one subsequently is going to be password, all right? And then this is the password that she has entered, all right? So let me copy it, and then I'll copy, and then I'll come to the website, and then enter it here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. then uh, paste, okay? So I'll click on this convert. Yes, and exactly this is it. This is uh, Anz Decoba password. Okay, so this is Anz Decoba password. So, task number two has been fulfilled. We have found Anz Decoba password. All right, so I just come here and paste the password. So, we have found Anz Decoba password. All right, so our next task is to find Anz Decoba uh, secret lovers email address all right so I'll, let me enter the next tax here as the cover and uh, secret lovers secret uh, secret lovers email address all right all right so uh, we are going to find as the cover uh, secret lovers email address so still 
this is still email and email uses SMTP protocol. All right, so I come here and then filter the packet by SMTP protocol. SMTP protocol. What's wrong with my keyboard? All right, all right, all right. SMTP protocol. All right, click on this. So I have all the packets are now SMTP packets. All right, so I will now have to find a particular packet where ANS decover communicated with that her secret lover. And though I can see an email here, I can see this packet, and this, uh, the email here, a receipt, uh, I, an email has been sent to this particular email address. All right, so let me, let me view the packet. Follow TCP stream. Okay, okay, so I can see Andy Koba has communicated with this particular guy with this email address, sec558 at gmail.com. Now let me go to, uh, let me see whether I can find a clue. Subject launch next week. So it doesn't look like this is, uh, sorry, I can't do launch next week after all heading out of town. Uh, this doesn't look like uh, Ans Koba secret lover. This doesn't look like lover's uh, uh, message. This doesn't look like a message sent from one lover to another. All right, so I'll still go over the packet again. Let me filter the packet, SMTP, filter the packet. And then I'll have to find that uh, uh, packet where Hans Dikoba actually communicated with her secret lover. All right. So I can see uh, something here, uh, the packet. Okay. Yes, packet number one touch to receive to Mr. Secret. All right. So uh, follow TCP stream. All right. I can see a trial authentication where she has enter email and password and authenticated and then start email. She has sent an email message. Okay. From Andy Koba. Okay. It is actually Andy Koba. Okay. And she is sending to this email address, Mr. Secret X. Okay. And the subject is rendezvous. All right, uh, this exactly looks like an email sent to a lover because aha, uh -huh, and then she is sending uh, email and then we can see a message being sent, hi sweetheart, bring your fake passport and, and a buffing suit, address attached, love and, okay, this is a message from a lover to her lover, all right, so and is sending this. To her secret lover all right so we have found as the cover secret lovers email address so i'm going to copy it and then we have fulfilled this task of finding as the cover secret lovers email address and then i'll just paste it here okay so move on to tax number four okay tax number four is asking us to uh find two items uh two items um, ask her secret lover to bring along. Ask her secret lover to bring along. To bring along. So what are those two items? So from the uh, packet that we viewed, we can see that Anne is trying to ask her secret lover to bring along a what? Hi, sweetheart. Bring your peck passport and a buffing suit. So she is asking her secret lover to bring along his peck passport and a buffing suit. All right, so we have found that it is a peck passport. Peck passport. Peck passport and buffing suit. Good, so we have found, we have fulfilled tax number four. All right, so move to tax number five. All right. Tax number five is asking what is the name of the attachment that Anne sent to her secret lover. Okay, so name of the attachment, name of the uh, attachment, attachment, and send to her lover. So how do you find that? So we still go back to our packet. All right, let's see what this packet will tell us all. All right, so we can see, uh, let's go through it. Address, buffing suit, address attached, love and. All right, so we can see something here. Attachment, content disposition, attachment. Aha, uh -huh. content application, file name, secret rendezvous, the docs. 
So probably she's sending him a word document attachment. Yeah. So the name of the attachment is secret rendezvous with doc uh, uh, docx extension. All right. So this is uh, we have fulfilled tax number five. Okay, so this is the name of the attachment that and the cover acts her secret lover, uh, sent uh, name of the attachment and the cover sent to her secret lover. So we have fulfilled tax number five. All right, so uh, the next task is to find the a MD5 sum hash of the attachment and sent to her secret lover. So MD5, MD5. All right, okay, let me write it in uh, lowercase md5 sum of the attachment of the uh, attachment and send to a secret lover okay so md5 uh, sum message digest 5 is a form of a hashing uh, algorithm so we are going to first of all get the file get what uh get the attachment get the content of the attachment that m and the cobra sent to a secret lover and then we compute the md5 sum all right so let's go back to my packet go to that particular packet here i can see uh i can see the content of the packet yeah I can see the content of the packet, so uh, which is in base 64 encoding. This is the after the file name, okay. Uh, so, so this is the actual content of the file that Andy Koba sent to her secret lover. All right, so I'm going to copy it to the end, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, up to the end, up to the end. To the end. Keep going, 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 keep going. Alright, alright, till till we go the end. Till we reach the end. Till we reach the end. We want to copy everything. Alright, so this is the end of the message that Andy Koba of the attachment, content of the attachment that Andy Koba sent to her secret lover. So I'll copy it. And then I'll go to that particular website and have it decoded. So uh, let me minimize this. So go to my uh, website here. So come to the website here and then I'll paste it here. I'll paste it here. All right, then I'll clean. Uh, let me delete this. Okay, so uh, delete. Okay, so this is the content. I have pasted the code, the content, which is in base 64 encoding. And now I want to decode it. But I, all like before, I don't want to have the output here. I want to download it so that I can be able to compute the MD5 uh, hash of the attachment. All right. So instead here, I'll choose the option export to a binary file. Okay. So uh, let me go. What is the name of the attachment that... Uh, that that uh and Koba sent to her secret lover what is the name of the attachment okay the name of the attachment is secret in the buddha docs all right all right so i'm just going to copy it copy it all right so i'll just uh copy it this is the name of the attachment copy it and then i'll come down to the website uh yeah come to this website and now paste it all right so I paste the name of the attachment and then so instead of uh, having the output on the screen here, I want to download it. So uh, convert the source code and then export to a binary file. So convert the source data and then it's going to, um, it's going to enable me to download it so that I can have it on my computer and then I'll get the MD5 somewhere. All right. So I have it here. I'll just download it. All right, so I have downloaded it on my computer. I have it on my computer. Aha, so I can even open it to see the content. All right, so this is what Andy Kova sent to her secret lover. Okay, so uh, at this point, we are not interested in the content. We are just interested in computing the MD5 sum of the content. All right, so let me come to my terminal here. 
I'll uh, clear everything and then I'm, I'm on the downloads directory here. Yeah. So yeah, let's let me see the content. So I have the file, I have downloaded the file. So now I need to compute the MD5 sum of the file. So I'll just type MD5 sum. Okay. And then I'll enter the name of the file, scatter in the redux, and then press enter. So uh, the MD5 sum of this particular file has been computed for me. So I'll copy it. Copy, and then come to my uh, text editor here. So this is the MD5 sum of the uh, attachment that Andy Koba sent to her lover. So we have fulfilled task, task number six. All right, task number seven is asking for the city and country of the rendezvous point. So city and country of the rendezvous point. And country of the rendezvous point of the their rain all right all right all right okay i have problem with my letter z on the keyboard the keyboard for letter z is not functioning so let me make use of my on screen keyboard of the rendezvous point okay so city and country so how can i find that let me go to the attachment that i had downloaded and then try to see the attachment did she actually is it actually included in the attachment that she sent? Uh, of course, it should be there. All right, so let me go to the attachment and then we are going to see whether we'll be able to find the city and the country of the rendezvous. All okay, the file is in my download directory. Okay, so this is the file that we have downloaded. All right, so we have opened the file. So meet me, look at the content of the message. Meet me at the fountain near the rendezvous point. Address below. I am bringing all the cash. All right, so let's look at the map. Uh, we can see Playa de Carmen, 7780 Mexico. Okay, so the city, this is the city. No, 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 no. I just want to copy this. Playa de Carmen. All right. Playa de Carmen. The city is Playa de Carmen. Okay. Playa. All right. Let me get the spelling right. Uh, yes. Playa de del Carmen. All right. Uh, del Carmen. That is the city. And the country name is Mexico. Mexico. Mexico, right? So, task number seven has been fulfilled. All right, task number eight is asking for MD5, MD5 sum of the uh, image attached with the document. With the document and sent to her lover. All right, so we need to find the MD5 sum of the image. So uh, go to the content. And this is the image. Uh, there's an image attached to so this particular image. How can we find the MD5 sum of this image? All right, so to accomplish this, let me close the uh, file. No, I don't want to save anything. Don't save anything. I don't want to tamper with my evidence. I don't want to tamper with my evidence. I don't want to perform any changes to Andy Covers document all right so close everything now okay let me clear my screen okay so to accomplish this i have to unzip the document all right i'm having a problem with my letter z on my keyboard so i have to make use of the uh this software keyboard unzip so what am i unzipping that particular document Secret rendezvous doc. So I have to unzip it, get the image, and then compute the MD5 sum of the image. So unzip secret rendezvous the DLCK CX. All right. So I have unzip it, right? And then from there, I will be able to get the image. All right. So let me see what I have. Let me clear the screen, clear the screen, oh, clear the screen. LS. So I have, uh, I have it here, I have Word. So let me go to that directory, Word, CD, 
what? Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, not yet. Tell us. Okay, I have another directory media. So I will change to the directory media. Okay. All right, ls. Sorry. Oh, uh -huh. so I have it. I have the image here. Okay, well, let me clear the screen so that we can be able to see it very well. Oh, ls. So I have uh, I have the image here, image one dot png. All right, so I need to compute uh, uh, the md5 sum of this image. So uh, md5 sum of what? This image. Press enter. Now I have the md5 sum of the image so i can copy it copy come to my uh text paste it here so we have solved this network forensic challenge we have found as email address we have found as email password we have found as secret lover's email address we have found two items and asked her secret lover to bring along name of the attachment and send to her secret lover MD5 or MD5 some of the attachment and sent to a secret lover city and country of the rendezvous point MD5 some of the image attached with the document so we have successfully tackled this network forensic challenge thank you thank you for taking your time to watch my tutorial and please uh, click on the like button if you watch and enjoy this video and please share this video and subscribe to my channel so as to get notified whenever I upload a new video Thank you very much. I will see you soon.